Rashida Tlaib has declared that the fight for 15 is officially over. Not because they got a $15 minimum wage, but because $15 just really isn't enough anymore, apparently. So now I guess we're going to be going for even more money. I'll let her do the explanation herself. But $2.13, does a tipped employee take $2.13 per hour federally? Some states, of course, uh, here in Michigan, it's over $3.50 or so. But think about that for one minute. And people cannot live on, on those kinds of wages. And I, we can't allow people to be uh, living off of tipped, you know, relying on tipped wages. It's just not, or whatever they call it, tipped income, because it's just not enough to support our families. But I also want to always tell a story because big fights like this one, $15, by the way, when we started it, it should have been $15. Now I think it should be $20. Picture America rising here. It should be $20. It should be $20 an hour. $18 to $20 an hour at this point. Everything on the cost. And companies, they say, all this is going to raise the cost. But I can tell you, milk has gone up. Eggs has gone up. Everything has gone up. The cost of food has gone up. The cost of a lot of things that we need has gone up already. All right, so there's Rashida Tlaib explaining why $15 just isn't enough and what actually we need need $20. Now, I don't know why 20 instead of 25 or 30 or 10,000. Let's do $10,000 an hour. That would really lift people out of poverty because I mean if you only have to work to, you know an hour to make $10,000, well, I mean that's great. Oh, let's just make it a million dollars. Then anybody that works for just an hour automatically becomes a millionaire. We'll completely eliminate poverty. I don't know why we didn't think of this sooner. It is a complete lack of even the basics of economics. It's such a ridiculous thing. But you know what I love about the squad? And I'm talking about here Rashida Tlaib, of course, but also Ilhan Omar and Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and that other chick who nobody knows, uh, um, uh, Ariana Grande or uh, uh, Adrian Pileski or I don't know, something. Uh, anyway, you know, the one that nobody can remember. Um, you know what I love about them? They confirm every argument that conservatives have been having for years. I mean, how long have conservatives, talk radio, elected officials, how long have we been saying, well, it doesn't make any sense to raise the minimum wage because then it's just a bidding war. Why not, uh, if you're going to say $10 an hour, why not 15 Why not 20 Why not 30 that's exactly what Rashida Tlaib just said. The squad constantly makes a habit out of confirming all of the arguments that conservatives have been making for a very long time. For the longest time, we were saying, especially in the Obama years, these people aren't Democrats, they're socialists. They have Marxist ideology, they subscribe to redistribution of wealth, the government owning everything, and they're anti-business, they're anti-capitalism. And they said, no, that's crazy. In fact, you remember that when it came to Obama, even though the guy very clearly had socialist ideas, they said, oh, that's racist to even suggest that he's a socialist. Well, now we have these four ladies, and I'm using the term ladies very loosely. Uh, we have these four ladies in the House of Representatives that are openly saying, yeah, we're socialists, we're proud of it. Yeah. We're, we're socialists. We believe in Marx. By the way, down with capitalism. Conservatives have been making that argument forever. And then the squad comes around and says, yep, that's exactly who we are. Because they are a Democrat with the mask fully ripped off and saying, yep, we're Marxist. We're socialist. And these are all the crazy things that you've been saying for years that the Democrat Party wants. We actually want them. And we're proud to say it that way. So there is no way to quantify my gratitude to the four of them for ripping off the mask and telling everybody that, yes, that is really what they believe because they make my job so much easier. But let's get into the meat and potatoes. Let's get into the actual substance of what Rashida Tlaib was talking about. Because she is essentially turning it into a, a bidding war, like I said. Why not go for $50 an hour or $10,000 an hour or a $1 million an hour? And I love that her 
explanation about all this, her reason that she's saying we need to move it from 15 to 20. She says, when it started, it should have been 15. When it started, 15 made sense. But things have changed. Times have changed. And what's going on now is that we have a system that $15 an hour just doesn't cut it anymore. You can't live off $15 an hour. It's just impossible. Now, I'm somebody that has lived for a very long time on significantly less than $15 an hour, so I can tell you, no, it's absolutely not impossible. I'm somebody that worked for barely above minimum wage for a large portion of my time after college. I just recently got to where I'm making more than that. And, well, actually, I'm probably not even making more than that. <laughs> actually, if you divide up my time, it's probably significantly less. But nonetheless, I'm, I'm making okay. But my point in all of that is, she's saying that it's just impossible, and the, the rationale behind that is, well, people are saying the costs are going to go up, which it will. And she's saying, and the, and the reason is because I'm telling you right now, the price of milk has gone up. The price of eggs is gone up. I'm not editorializing. If you watch, go back and watch the clip, that's how she said it. The uh, eggs is gone up is how she said it. And that got me to thinking, man, I wonder if the price of milk and eggs have actually gone up in a way that would reflect that five, five more dollars an hour, I'm thinking there's no way it's gone up that much. Well, I did my research, and according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, you can look year by year at the differences in the price of milk. This one is on milk. So if you look at the average there, remember that the fight for 15, because she said when it started, $15 an hour made sense. The fight for 15 started in the year 2012. Well, if you're looking at that, and you'll look at the average price over the year, 2012, the average price for milk was $3.49 uh, per gallon. Now, in 2019, so far this year, the average price of milk has been $2.96 a gallon. So it's gone down by over 50 cents. That's a substantial decrease in the price of milk. So I, I genuinely believed that when she said this, I just assumed that she was correct on the price of it having gone up. What I was looking at the statistics for was, has it gone up enough to justify five more dollars an hour? And what I was going to do is do a very uh, in-depth explanation of how much more money that would mean a year for the average employee and see if that justified and kept pace with the price control or the uh, controlled price index. That's what I was going to look at. But I didn't even have to do that because the price has actually gone down, not up. So not only is it not keeping pace, milk is cheaper than it was in 2012 when the fight for 15 started in New York City. But what about eggs? Maybe eggs is gone up, as Rashida Tlaib would say. Let's look at the price of eggs. Hmm, 2012 average price of a dozen eggs, grade A large would be $1.84 per dozen. Now in 2019, the price is $1.45 per dozen. Hmm, that's also lower. Almost a 40 cent decrease. Well, that's weird. The truth is, Rashida Tlaib did what a lot of Democrats do, and even though she's not quite as good at it as AOC, she did something that AOC does pretty frequently, which is make crap up and hope that it's true. This is not something that was researched or that she thought about. She was working a crowd, she was speaking to an audience, and in the spur of the moment, she's like, okay, well, saying $20 an hour is really dumb. How can I justify it? Oh, the price of eggs has gone up. That's the only thing that she could come up with. But if you're looking at the price of eggs and the price of milk, actually the exact opposite is true. They're cheaper than they were in 2012 when the fight for 15 started. Sorry, math doesn't care about your feelings. And neither does the price of milk. You know, you really should like this video and subscribe to the Tactics YouTube channel. Oh, what's that? You want to know what's on the channel before you subscribe to it?
Oh, no, no, no. It's like Obamacare. So you got to subscribe to find out what's on it. 